Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have a haul video for you today. Before we do get into the haul, I wanted to let you guys know that our new reseller spreadsheet 2.0 version is out, and I did have a little bit of a rocky start getting it out to everybody, but you should be able to get your copy now. So there is a link down in the description if you are ready to get your uh, spreadsheet upgraded or if you're ready to get started using a inventory tracking spreadsheet. All that is in the description below. Don't forget to watch the two videos that I did put out along with that spreadsheet so you can get a great start on using it. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy. This is a haul that we have been putting off for, I don't know, weeks now. It's been down in our living room for a couple weeks and we are ready to start showing this stuff to you guys here. So we're kind of calling this the procrastination haul. <laughs> so here's Kathy. I honestly don't remember when I got this. Like I know I met up with other friends up in Denver. Yeah. And we went to all these places. Oh, this is from when you were yeah. up in Denver with the, the, friend, so the guys. That was, I think, over a month for sure. But maybe <laughs> close to two months at this point, honestly. Hey, so. it's going to be a surprise to us as well. Yeah. And you so. too, huh, Reese? He doesn't. With the side care. eye. I don't <laughs> care about my stuff. <laughs> all right, well. Starting off, I found a Chick-fil-A fleece. Oh, nice. So I think you can sell these on eBay. Um, I did check comps. I think they were like 20 to 30-ish. So not too bad. Um, size X, no, size large US. So thought that was cool. Cool. Can uh, impersonate a Chick-fil-A <laughs> worker. <laughs> or just if you are a Chick-fil-A worker, have an extra you can't, jacket. Just that reminded me, you can't sell like... Um, like postal worker yeah, stuff postal and military, workers. yeah. Anything that you can impersonate like an official person. <laughs> yeah, don't resell that stuff. You can kind of get in trouble. <laughs> this is just Walmart brand. I honestly only got it because it was new at Tag, but now it's like super wrinkled and I don't really do any steaming or stuff like that. So I guess I can probably put that in the dryer with the tag on still. Yeah, and try to it. fluff it out. Yeah. So We have had that suggestion <laughs> from some viewers. Yeah, so that wouldn't hurt it too bad. Um, yeah. But being at a, as it's a Walmart shirt, it's maybe like a ten dollars sale, not yeah. anything big. In my head, I was probably thinking Plato's Closet might take it, but it looks a little bit more mature than the, that they take. So, yeah, who knows? Found this Carolina Panthers. I thought this was like one of those seats. Oh yeah. Like, but it's actually a cooler, I guess. So, like a little. Oh, like a cooler. collapsible cooler. Yeah. Okay. So, it's new at Tag, but it's. Definitely has some dusty spots on it. Yeah. Don't know what that's worth, if anything. <laughs> this is a good brand, but I feel like it has a good amount of wash wear, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get for it. The brand is Carrie Tra. This is, I believe, 100% merino wool, like a base layer type thing. So, I mean, in good shape, I think you could get at least 30, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna get for that. But wool stuff even in bad shape will sell because mm -hmm. people just need to be warm when they're out and about in the winter did you say this was all from the bins yes except this somehow is in there and i know i bought this okay. at a regular goodwill that day okay. so so we do have a kind of a different sourcing strategy when at the bins right so yeah at the bins if it can sell for 10 bucks i'll probably pick it yeah. up so <laughs> uh this is a bowden dress i think these are flowers do those look like flowers to you? Yeah, they got little petals or little leaves. Yeah. Maybe. So, uh, this is a US 8. It's like a nice stretchy dress. Would be good for like a teacher or church or something. Found a Bucky shirt. <laughs> Hey. I've still never been to Bucky's. I heard that they're putting a Bucky's up in Denver. Yeah, so, so, we'll be able to go sometime. <laughs> Or we could just take a road trip to Texas. Oh, that was so much easier. <laughs> um, it's probably less stressful, to be honest, <laughs> than going through Denver. <laughs> I know they have a, a lot of places, but yeah. Texas is the one I know for sure. Uh, but yeah, this is just a size small, like a Christmas bucky. Says never calm on the back. Always bright. So, again, probably at least around $10 on that. I mm -hmm. don't know that it's worth a whole lot. Uh, these are just the Brand White House Black Market which does retail for a lot. I don't usually pick it up, but again, the bins. And they're size zero, which I probably wouldn't pick up that often. Mm -hmm. But I like embroidered jeans, yeah, those so are they usually do well. Tons of embroidery details on them. Nice so. ones too, they, I, like, I like those. Yeah. So hopefully I can get around 20 out of those. 
Oh, this was a cool one. So Jimmy, old school flips. He has a channel here on YouTube. Actually found this at the bins that day and he doesn't really sell much clothes. Mm -hmm. So he passed it off to me. I looked up comps. I hadn't really heard of it before. It looks like it's Smith and Ogden. I don't know. Okay. I don't really know either of those brands. I'm sure most people do. I'm just not into like fancier things. Yeah. Um, so this seemed like it was more of a fancy thing. And even in pre-owned condition, I saw some comps in like the $50 range. So hey. When I found comps, I asked him if he wanted it back because his wife does sell clothes sometimes. Yeah. So, um, but no, they said I can keep it. So thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy. You're not watching. Yeah. But <laughs> that was very nice of him. Thanks for that. So yeah, even when you're at the bins with other resellers, you know, everyone wants some different stuff. Yeah. So we were all just kind of like trading things that we found back and forth. Um. This I might just keep for a kid. I don't know. Just okay, a Harry, Harry Potter. Potter yeah. yeah. Just a kid's tea. Not probably worth a whole lot. Uh, this is a Volcom, like a windbreaker. Spiderweb or something? It's a girl size 12, though. Not really a spiderweb. It's kind of more like flowers or just... Oh, kind of like a doily yeah. lace kind of thing. Look, pattern, kind of right? Weird pattern. It's just printed on there. So, on windbreakers, a lot of times the inner part will get all, like, grody underneath right. the mesh. flaky on the underside. So I checked that, and I didn't notice anything. So, it seemed like it was in really good shape. So, uh, being that it's a girl size, though, I'm... I don't know, I want to say 25 maybe $30 out of that. All right, looks like I got a bunch of shoes. I don't remember. Oh, there's <laughs> my shoes. I've been looking for these. <laughs> I just bought another pair because I couldn't find these. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's okay. The other pair I bought was a different color because I knew I'd find them eventually. But Nike Free Run Flanets are, like, my favorite thing to wear. And were they probably they were probably in the car? Yeah, and I just and then you just tossed them all in, in at one night. Yeah, in the night. I've been like scouring our whole house. <laughs> like our house is small. Yeah, it's clean, so like there's they shouldn't be hiding anywhere. Right. Like, I know you were asking me, and I'm like, I don't know what yeah. shoes you're talking about. Like they should be in my closet or in the basket. <laughs> like, anyhow, uh, that's good news. I yeah. did find these bogs. These are a size five youth. So little beat up but that's okay they are bogs they'll still sell for a minimum of like 30 i want to say maybe even closer to 40 mm -hmm. on those so that's cool love bogs another pair of bogs these are a kid size 13 again a little dirty but kids yeah. ruin these but they are great boots for the winter or just walking in the mud those should like start that. selling pretty soon too yeah, like I we're coming up on that some quick. of these to start selling yeah. so i can put them up there when i list them yeah we have quite a quite a bit of boots quite a bit of boots to go out uh these are sorrel boots so more boots a little dirty i mean i mean i can wipe that down pretty easily yeah a little, a little heel, bit drag. Of heel drag but again bins it is by weight and these are heavy these are probably like three and a half pounds or something but even like maybe so four or five like, bucks. Yeah, five, yeah. six bucks, which, and I mean, these are kind of yellowed on the soles, but in really good shape, these go for like 80 to $100 normally. So, yeah. I mean, at least I want to say 50 Yeah, I was going to say 40 um, bucks is still a good sale. So, women seven on those. I think those are called the Joan of Arctic. <laughs> Not positive. These look like they were bit up by like an animal, which I actually just bought these for our kid because he's been liking his other Crocs. And yeah, all those little. These are the next size up and they just wear them to school and ruin them. So these basically cost me 50 cents based <laughs> yeah. on weight. So I will take those for them. Win. Win, win. Some Sanuk yoga sandals. These usually sell 15 to 20. Women's eight. So that's cool. Got some Nike flip flops. Size nine. Those usually sell right around twenty dollars plus shipping. These are my favorite things to find. Stuff that weighs like under a pound, so you're mm -hmm. paying less than a dollar, selling for twenty bucks. That's such a good profit margin. Yeah. And it kind of we do average our costs like when we do shop at the bins. Yeah. So that really brings that average buy price yeah. down for those really light things. So I don't think I ever really go over two bucks for cost average cost of goods at the bins. Yeah. So like even though we said these are probably five to six based on weight, we'll just average them all out. So the yeah. flip flops will be like one fifty, but so will the Sorel bins. Mm -hmm. These are some Superga, like a fur lined sneaker, size forty one, which is like a women's ten, I believe. Uh, yep, men's eight, women's nine and a half. So 
really good shape. Goodwill was only asking $10.99 and nobody bought them at regular price. So. Anyways, uh, I don't generally pick up this brand anymore. I did a few times. It took forever to sell, but again, bins. Yeah. I wouldn't have paid the $10.99 at Goodwill where I would on a lot of other shoes. So, or a pair of these OTBT wedges. I feel like I just sold a pair of these. Yeah. Though these are sandals. The other ones were kind of like a closed toe clog. But those ones sold really fast, so maybe these will. Those are the wedge, too, so. Yeah, although we're heading out of summer, so maybe not. These are women's 10. I'll price them a little lower, maybe like 25, 30 bucks because mm -hmm. of seasonality. Really good shape, though. And our other OTBT, is that what it is? Yeah. Those seem to sell fairly quick. We have others though that haven't sold, so oh, it's like okay. weird. But yeah, the one pair that looked like that sold really fast. Uh, this is a brand I never heard of, Peter Kaiser. Um, Kristen, uh, a real squirrel, actually gave those to me. Uh, we looked up comps. I can't remember the comps, but I do remember the sell through was really, really good on them. Which is why I was like, I'll take a chance on them. Yeah. So. We will see. I think it was at least going to be around $30 in a fast, like, over 100% sell-through, I want to say. Um, got some Olakai. We got some Cheez-It. Probably our kids. Uh, Hopefully it's not like yeah. a Ben's Cheez-It. <laughs> These are men's nine and a half, just an Olakai leather sneaker, if you ever see that little hook symbol. Yeah. Definitely a good shoe to look out for. Yeah. Even their flip-flops sell 30 to 50 the leather ones even like more than that sometimes so yeah you should do well i think at least around 40 dollars. i love my i use olakai flip-flops yeah, every too. day and i love them so these are kind of dirty but they are a muck boot which i've only sold one other time and they sold really fast for a good amount those were in way better shape but i still think these are at least 25 30 dollars in their condition oh. currently what another a bunch of little white pellets fell out or something um, this is what you get at the bins guys so yeah i don't know <laughs> Maybe some more cheese hits or something yeah <laughs> just leave those in there for now found the other are those kind of similar to like a bog yeah okay so originally i thought they were like a cheapy boot i'd seen them many times and i always passed over them and then i saw becky park um so a pair, a kid's pair for a really good amount. I was like, oh, why do I always pass on those? Hey. And so then I picked up the next pair I saw. They sold really fast. Sweet. And now I will pick them up. Thanks for that, Becky. Thanks, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these, I think this says C4, so toddler four native. Cool tie dyes. Yeah. These usually sell for around 20. And some Tiva Mush Wedge flip flops usually sell for 15 to 20. These are A Women's. I think this says eight. Yep. So. Again, really lightweight. My fave. Yeah. The rest of it is in here. So yeah, this I bought at a normal Goodwill. It was ten dollars too, but it's a Patagonia Pearl Snap, so Ooh. I think it's worth at least thirty, maybe thirty-five, forty. We'll see. It's a men's medium, so if it was an XL, probably closer to the forty. With it being a medium, probably closer to the thirty, but. Yeah, I'll take 10 into 30 on Patagonia. That's a super easy sale. So does that qualify as a shacket or no, mm -hmm. just a flannel? I wouldn't call this a shack. I don't know. To me, a shacket is like thicker and has pockets like right here. Well, what's this? Huh? A pocket. No, like right here, like a side pocket, like a jacket. Okay. This is the receipt for that shirt though. <laughs> don't lose that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I knew I'd put it in there because this day I bought a bunch of shoes at this Goodwill and then I went to my car, put them away, and then I was like, I have to go potty. So I went back in and, of course, saw this like right <laughs> by the bathroom and I was like, I can't leave a Patagonia there. So that's the only thing on that receipt. <laughs> all right. This is all from the bins again. So this is just the Nike Oregon Ducks. That's who that is, right? Oregon. I don't know if it's the Ducks, What's but Oregon? it does look like Oregon State or whatever. <laughs> Oregon. If I'm dumb and it's something else, please tell me in the comments. Yeah. Obviously, I'll figure it out when I go to list it. <laughs> um, but I do know that's a fairly popular team. Yeah. And looks like a women's XLT. These are just Topshop, some mom jeans. I don't generally pick up Topshop. So again, this is a because we were at the bins type thing. I might. I bought all this stuff and then since I've only been really buying shoes when I source set places and I don't really want to list all this stuff so I might do a Play-Doh's trip 
just to kind of make my money back on some of it. Yeah. If I could make close to what I spent on the whole haul and just mainly list the shoes, that'd be great. So I might do that on a lot of this because these are probably only like $15 or something. Mm -hmm. They're women's 26. So I think Play-Dohs would take those. Uh, this is just a plain tee I think I bought for myself. I like sleeping in just oversized tees or, yeah, so. That's just an Old Navy plain tee. This is the territory ahead, which I've done well with in the past, although recently I feel like it's slowed down. But at the bins, we buy it. Size large, it's a vintage, like older tag. It definitely needs a wash, and I don't, I didn't look at the washing instructions. Machine it, wash, so that's good. What kind of material is that? It's Wool? It's like a suede. It's not that's cotton, but it says machine wash, so we should be okay. good on that. Uh, I'm going to say I can get at least 20 out of that, maybe 30. Um, this is, gosh, I forgot this brand name. I feel like I just sold a hoodie with it. Ten trees. Yeah, ten tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ten. That makes sense. That looks like it's The number the ten tree. and then a tree. Yep. Okay, then. A ten tree open cardigan <laughs> size. Small. I feel like these are organic cotton. Yeah, 100% organic cotton. I like these kind of cardigans, so. All right. What else we got? This is White and Warren Reclaim. I don't really know that brand, but I feel like it was soft. What is the material? Oh, cashmere wool blend. Cashmere so that's wool. That's really why I grabbed that. Super soft. You can just tell. That's why I don't like to wear gloves in the bins. If I had, I probably would have just thrown that to the side. Like, it was the middle of, like, June or July, so it was hot. Yeah. You know, I wasn't really thinking about sweaters, but I do like selling sweaters. They usually go for at least $30 if they're a good material. Um, This is just old navy. But I bought it because new a tag. Might list that. That's actually a pretty cute fall dress. Like yeah. I feel like navy's a good fall color. And people like do their family photos and stuff. But mm -hmm. also I do think Play-Dohs would take this. So we'll see if I list it or not. Um, it's probably 15 to 20 if I list it myself. At Play-Dohs, they'd probably give me like a buck or two for it. Mm. But all right, this was an Under Armour men's, like a golf pullover thing. I really like that color, size medium. That's probably 20 to 25. What is this? Oh, Zaya. Zaya's a great activewear brand. It's kind of like um, an MLM type direct to, is that Consumer, direct to, direct consumer. to consumer. Yeah. So that's their thing. It's like a little moon. Mm. So that's a large. I assume this is women's, but yeah, there's some wording like down here, like, oh, I thought it said something Zaya inspiring active, right? like Lululemon, <laughs> but <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't know what that's worth. I would say at least 20. These are some Columbia PFG women's shorts, size small. Those are probably around 15 to 20. This was dirty, I think, but I... I knew I could wash it. It's just a men's large. Just Eddie Bauer, but like, I really like these jackets that are like the stretchy outer, but then they have like the super soft inner. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what kind you, like what you would call this kind of a jacket, but. A lined jacket, yeah, windbreaker? No, like I feel like this material has, like I sell a lot of North Face ones with that and it has a special name, but. Anyways, it's a nice jacket. I think I could get 25 to 30 out of that. Just needs a wash. That looks nice. Yeah, this is just Sonoma. So it's like a Target like Coles or, or something. Coles, yeah. But the pattern on this. That is a cool pattern. Like Look at that. Me. I think Kristen gave me this as well. Got like a cabin. I debated hard on getting it or not just because, again, it was July. I wasn't. I don't like listing things with flaws and not that it's super flawed, but you can tell it has wash wear. I don't like to have to point out a lot of things. I don't like to type any descriptions out, so. And it's dry clean only, which I'm not gonna dry clean it. I'm going to put it in the washing machine <laughs> in cold water and hope nothing happens to it, and then hang dry it. So, yeah. we will see how that goes. Worst case, I ruin it and lost a dollar or two. Best yeah. case, I sell it for $25, $30. And when you're sourcing at the bins, you kind of have that wiggle room. Yeah. If you want to run in mm -hmm. that gamble, right? Like I'm gonna, 
machine wash and dry clean only, and if it turns out okay, I can still make some money. Yeah. You know, perfect opportunity to I do that. I have washed plenty of dry clean onlys. Right. I have ruined some as well, though, so <laughs> do not do it unless you're willing to lose it. Yeah. Uh, this is just polar raw floor and some kids' denim overalls. Definitely need a wash. Uh, at this point, I might take those to once upon a child, though. This is, what was this? So this was Lane Bryant, but like a plus size. I thought it was a nice sweater. It's really soft. So it's probably like 15, 20 out of that. Soft cells, huh? Yeah. Um, this was a Columbia XL, just like a pullover, but it does have that, the Omni Heat stuff. The Omni Heat stuff seems to do really well. Oh, kind of like that like metallic yeah. looking you line. you see that in, so Columbia, it's oversaturated just in general, but the stuff that has this stuff in it usually sells fairly quickly. And for a decent amount, I would say I could get at least 20, maybe 25 out of that. Keep an eye out for that. Oh, thank you. Give you a better, closer look at it. It's kind of almost looks like a lizard skin. <laughs> Some vintage tube. Well, they're not actually vintage, but the brand is vintage red, like tube socks. So. Okay. Some rainbows on them? Yeah, I would. I feel like those will sell well. Oh, yeah. I think tube socks are just in. They're in. Yeah. And then these are used. Uh, I mean, they don't seem that used, but they're stance socks in there. Oh. <laughs> so, I had to get out. Santa! I think those will sell for a few bucks. They're, they're cute. I might just wear them. Who knows? Uh, Kristen gave me these. Mother, which is a great brand. I've only sold once or twice in denim. I've never tried to sell. Obviously, the denim's going to go for more. Uh, no, I feel like these are super faded in a weird location, so I don't know if I'm going to list these, actually. But a good lesson. Mother is a great brand to look out for. That's what their tag looks like. They usually have M's on the pockets. And yeah. Um, M's as in the stitching. Yeah, like that looks like an M. Yep. Uh, but like, like a lot of their denim can go for like 80, 100, pre-owned. They retail over 200, so. Bolo Mother stuff. What do we got? These work for once upon a child, just some Cat and Jack jean shorts. Oh, cute little rainbows and embroidery on them. Oh, in the pocket, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, that's one of my dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> I was in your dirty yeah, shoes, huh? I think I'm washing all this stuff anyways. <laughs> uh, this is Miles Makes Moves, which I actually just sold a pair of shorts by them. I think it's like a smaller Instagram type athletic brand, but it seems to be like if if you know what it is, you're looking out for it, and there's not a ton listed on any of the platforms. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. So it's an easier sale, but not a lot of people have heard of it. So it's just right. It's not oversaturated, it, right. but it is desirable. Yeah. So just a pair of gym shorts that were kind of worn, sold for around 25 plus shipping. So this is a nice hoodie. I feel like I can get at least 25 to 30 probably out of that. Oh my other dirty sock. <laughs> This, this is what happens just, when you procrastinate and yeah. have it in your <laughs> your van for a week. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I bought this because it was new. Squall Valley Alpine Meadows, thirty dollar retail. I don't know what Squall Valley. It, it seems like a like a gift shop kind yeah, of brand it does, or something. Definitely. But like, if it was like Zion National Park or something, I'd, right? That would sell pre-owned and stuff. Yeah. That's what people are looking. For. Yeah. Subject matter. I figured it was worth a shot. It weighs like nothing. What does it say on the front? Like, what's the? Just the Squaw Alpine. That's a okay. cute little logo. Okay. Patch. It's a nice hat. Like it's polyester and elastane, so it's a little bit stretchy. Okay. And lastly, my first time finding this brand, Cotopaxi. Gear excited. for good. Yeah. So Cotopaxi is kind of like a Patagonia, Marmot, those kinds of outdoor brands. Arcteryx kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. So these little gym shorts will probably sell for $25 to $30. Wow. Pre-owned. They retail for like $60. So women's size small. These are the Crux short. They are like a line, like a running short. So, yeah. Very nice. So I will get that stuff in the laundry today. Yeah. Wipe these down. Maybe get these listed quicker than this stuff. But yeah, it was a decent little bins haul. This day we went to a bunch of other stores as well. So overall, it was just a really good day. And yeah. And you had a great time with some other yeah. resellers, it was, right? It was it's fun. fun. Yeah. It's fun. I, I don't. I'm not a huge reseller. Kathy's a reseller, right? So she yeah. gets when she's sourcing with me, she's annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it super often because like. <laughs> Right. Obviously, this has been in our living room because I sourced too much that day. Right. Um, but yeah, 
It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so Kathy did mention that we will get this listed as soon as we can. If you did happen to see something you wanted, just keep an eye out. We'll get it listed as we can. But yeah, with kids, our kids finally got back into school this week. We're starting to get back into the groove of non-summer life, which is kind of like night and day, right? I feel like summers are just like, go, go, go. And so we're, we're starting to get back into that rhythm of life. So um, yeah, bear with us as we get things listed. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And don't forget if you are ready to get that spreadsheet, the link is down in the description and you can get rolling with that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps us out and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.